wow, it's been like a week or so since we haven't seen each other. And I am so, so excited to be back in my chair and to stand in front of you. Welcome to a new Not About Fountain Pants video. Although we're gonna to touch a little bit the subject, and in this video, we are going to discuss two very important things and how they collide and also how do they impact each other, business and passion. Mm, I just love the smell of fresh coffee and uh, what better way to enjoy a fresh cup of coffee than with you all. It's been like a week since we haven't seen each other in some videos and uh, I was really, really busy. And in this past week, I've learned a lot of things regarding both passion and business. I'm gonna discuss with you these two aspects because as I was working, I constantly thought about making this video and try to explain to everyone who is watching my videos how these two things are just sort of juggling with each other and how do they affect an individual like me and what should you expect from both your passion and your business and also very important how can you judge a person like myself who is a passionate individual regarding fountain pens and writing instruments and how I turn that into a business. And of course, the name of this video is not about fountain pens, and I'm gonna to try to just touch briefly this subject. So in the past week, we've been shipping the entire pre-order series for the Nuda collection. And it's been a roller coaster of emotions and work. And uh, I've came to realize a lot of things. It's very important to have a passion and to follow that passion. And even better, so if you can transform that passion into a business, there is a lot of good things for you out there in this quest. But I've seen passionate individuals who are not good businessmen and I've seen good businessmen which are not passionate individuals. I would like to keep that uh, ratio flexible because it's very, very important. In the past week, I've had a lot of work to do. Like for example, I've worked through 150 individual orders. The number of the fountain pen, the trim color, the nib material, the nib size, and to pack everything and do everything on my own. You've been uh, very, very patient and understanding with this process and uh, thank you so, so much for that. What I want to extrapolate from this is that in the past week, I haven't been able to practice my passion as much as I would like to do. And that is the cost of turning your passion into a business. You actually have less time for your passion than you need to have for your business once you start on that journey. I don't know if you're going to be able to juggle with both of this at 100% because you will need to actually diverge your time, effort and uh, your workload towards the business. And sometimes it's it's a little bit more easy and you can enjoy the passion and you can uh, enjoy writing like myself. I do enjoy writing every single day in my journal. I beat myself because in the past week I haven't been able to actually write a single sentence in my journal to describe this emotional luggage that I carry with me for the entire week. I've been working like 19, 20 hours per day uh, for the past three or four days just to be sure that everything is packed okay, everything is corresponding and everything has been sent out to the correct address and for you out there which are counting on us, on myself to do that. I, I was thinking a lot regarding this ratio, business passion, business passion. And you will see that if you try to turn your passion into a business, you will actually have less time for your passion and you need to divert some of that time towards the business. I am fully aware of that cost and uh, I am very, very grateful and blessed to have audience who can understand this aspect and can uh, be very, very patient and understanding with myself and uh, all of the difficulties of uh, running a business has a uh, sort of a toll on content, on the passion itself. And I realized that going forward it's a cost and for myself passion means a lot getting a 
writing the instrument out of the box, inking a fountain pen, writing with it. It's, it's therapeutic for myself and I, I cannot wait to enjoy this passion after this week. If you are going to actually have thoughts of turning your passion into a business, you need to understand that there is a price. That price is the passion itself. You will actually have to take decisions which are going to affect your passion and you need to realize that before committing yourself into going into a full business. And uh, for myself, I was aware of this fact from day one. I started to experience it along with the more work that it came, uh, with the more popularity, success, and uh, it's, it's, it's a cost that I'm willing to pay. Now, in these days, I get joy and I get my reward from seeing people which are happy, my customers and the people which I interact with. If I see them happy, if I can provide them with something which is of value in the community regarding fountain pens or even in these videos, and uh, to share my emotions and to, to feel like I'm listened to, for me, I get my reward. It is not only about fountain pens and writing with them and all of that, it's seeing happy people. All of you out there, which I like to spend my time with and uh, I like to say that I have a positive impact in your life and I'm super grateful and blessed to have such an opportunity and I thank God every single day, which I get to be healthy and to enjoy this passion and have a connection with you. I haven't made the script, so my ideas are still floating and I'm gonna pick one here, one there and all of that. And uh, what do I want to say next is that, how can you interact with a person who is a passionate individual that turned his passion into a business? That person is going to be very, very easy, identifiable with yourself. I see myself into you all when you order an item from an adventure and uh, you enjoy seeing a good quality writing instrument, writing beautifully. And for me, it's just very, very deep a connection with the customer, with the person in front, which I respect and I treat like it's myself. Because one day I was that person who ordered writing instruments from all over the, the, the websites. And, and there are many stories with myself ordering and I see myself in every single customer of mine. So for me, it's very important to have sort of a matching in regards of the viewpoint. If I see you like myself, I would like you to see myself like yourself. And <laughs> it's, it's a tongue twister, but you understand that we can relate because there is a passion which unites us. The, the, the blessing of turning your passion into a business is that you will interact with passionate individuals just like yourself. They will understand you most of the times, but also you will have the same feeling like they have. Like for example, you anxiously are waiting for your next writing instrument and it's not coming on time. And that's not an easy thing to do. On myself, I have a hundred fountain pens and I don't mind waiting, but I try to put myself into every single person and every single point of view and try to do things as good as possible. And I'm limited, but I know that I'm dealing with passionate individuals and I'm grateful and blessed to do that. And I look forward at interacting with you on every single aspect. That's overall the idea. So if you are thinking about turning your passion into a business, keep in mind that you will do less of the passion and more of the business. You will need to take some decisions which are outside of the passion area and they will be more strictly related towards the business. And it's a price that some are willing to pay, some are not aware of this price. But keep in mind, with success, you will start to see that price being paid more and more and it's going to be more and more expensive. If you are committed to do this, do it, but be aware of this fact. If you are interacting with a small business which is made by a passionate individual who turned his passion into a business, have patience. They are trying to do their best, like myself, but sometimes things are not working the way 
the way they envision and for that alone you need to put yourself into their shoes and I think I did a good job to explain overall the idea and the concept and every single lesson that I've learned in the past week working like uh, there is no other thing to do on the list and I have been missing spending time on YouTube with you all and I hope you are uh, happy to see me if you have any other questions regarding this subject or any other subject if you want to send me your good thoughts let me know because I have been missing you a lot trust me for the past week not being able to respond to comments not being able to record a video do you see me talking I'm talking non-stop just because I have been keeping up so many things. If you want to support the growth of the Pamagi YouTube channel, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If it helped you, uh, let me know. Give the thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. I cannot wait to get back in the saddle and create more content. We have a lot of things to talk about. Trust me, the next videos are gonna be awesome. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Subscribe right now, what a better way. Just click there, turn the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content, which is coming. And also, if you want to continue watching my previous videos, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, Amy from Pandventure. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.